A subway escalator lowers a person walking down it in one minute. If the person walks twice as fast, he will descend in 45 seconds. How long does the person standing on the escalator go down? So, let's let T1 stands for the case when a person is walking down at a normal speed. This time equals one minute. If the person walks as twice, twice as fast, this time equals 45 seconds. We have to find the time when a passenger, a person is idle, standing on the escalator. T, zero. Let's make a picture. This is the escalator. Escalator descends at a speed V escalator. In the first case, a person lowers the escalator at a normal speed V Per, uh, v person. In the second case, the speed of the passenger is doubled. Double VP. Let L stands for the length of the escalator. Since escalator and passenger both go downward, their speed speeds can be added. So we can write V escalator plus V person equals L divided by T1. In the second case the escalator descends at the same speed, but the speed of the person is doubled twice. The person equals L over T2. And at last, when the person is idle and only the escalator moves, we can write V escalator equals L over T zero. Now let us substitute the speed of escalator in these two equations. For the first case, L over T zero plus V P equals L over T1. For the second case, L over T0 plus twice VP equals L over T2. The next step. Vp here and doubled Vp here. Let us multiply the first equation by 2 to make the same doubled Vp in the first equation. So we have doubled L over T0 plus doubled Vp gives doubled L over T1. Now, let this equation has number 1 and this equation has number 2. And subtract term by term the second equation from 
the first or okay the second equation from the first second minus first why so because here 2l and here 1l the second minus the first gives us the second 2l over t0 plus doubled v passenger the left part of the second equation minus the left part of the first equation minus l over t0 minus doubled vp gives left part of the uh, right part of the second equation double l over t1 minus l over t2 now we can get rid of unknown vp it eliminates and in the left part doubled l over t zero minus one l over t zero gives simply l over t zero l over t zero in the right part two l over t one minus l over t two and at last we can see that in every term of this equation is the common factor L in the numerator, numerator. So we can divide this equation by L. Hence we can write unit over t0 gives 2 divided by t1 minus 1 divided by t2 bring these two fractions in the left part to the common denominator unit over t0 equals the common denominator t1 t2 numerator doubled t2 minus t1 and the answer is reverse this fraction reversed inverse fraction inverse fraction is t0 our final formula t1 t2 over doubled t2 minus t1 this is an answer t0 equals maybe better write one minute as 60 seconds t1 60 seconds times 45 seconds divided by twice 45 seconds minus 60 seconds it gives us 60 times 45 these seconds and this second divides out over 90 minus 60 30 seconds or 90 seconds in other words one and a half minute 
So, it takes one and a half minute to the passenger standing, the passenger standing the escalator, go down. The problem is solved.